Well, now it's time for everybody's favourite to the first homosexual French Tartlehead and his logical conclusion. Thank you, Gloria. Well, the GSC has been described as a tax on the poor, but are we taxing poor people enough? I'm cleansed tightly and I say, tax them till their nuts drop off. <laughs> There's little dispute that the GST will favour the rich, and as a rich person, I favour the GST. Isn't there somewhere we can put more taxes on poor people from which rich bastards like me are exempt? For example, the poverty tax. If these people are selfish enough to be poor, let's make them pay. <laughs> One concern shared by many is that the poverty line is neither strong enough nor high enough to stop the poor people from getting over and stealing our cacti. It should be at least ten foot high and made of barbed wire. Cynics might say that poor people can't pay extra taxes because they don't have any money. Donkey shite. We can simply take their other possessions such as clothing, children and body lice. Or put them to work in our vast cactus gardens. Welfare groups claim the GST won't help pensioners and they're right. The GST can't do anything for old people. Not unless someone can train it to cook porridge, clean bedpans and give sponge baths. Well, if old people don't like it, they don't need to hang around using up valuable resources like air and water. They should be made to pay tax for every year they've been alive using the earth. It's their fault for deciding to live so long, these prehistoric old bludgers. It's these same Jurassic geriatrics who are now claiming that the GST killed the dinosaurs. Calculating a 10% tax on everyday items was too much for the dinosaurs and their tiny walnut-sized brains. And once the government introduced a tax on walnuts, the dinosaurs found it easier to simply cease all commercial enterprise, call an ice age and declare themselves extinct. Once extinct, they turned into fossils and eventually into oil, proving my point that the GSC is a brilliant, innovative scheme to make poor people extinct so we can use them for fossil fuel. <laughs> and if you don't like that, Mr. Ms. Live off the land, solar-powered, hydroponic, organic, marijuana-eating, long-haired freak show, well, crawl back into the recycling bin you crawled out of. I'm cleansed tightly. And that's a logical cactus. <laughs> Yes, well, thank you, Clinch, old bean. You really are a fascist maggot. <laughs> well, thanks, Ian. That's very kind. Um, how about a drink after the show, or perhaps even a, a sauna? No, don't get me started, Clinch. 